Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Ah, uh, another classic fucking film. This movie had like the best fucking characters, man. I, I like all the Warriors characters in this movie. All, all the actors were fantastic and the characters were both fucking fantastic. Walt the Hill's best fucking movie. After that comes after the 48 hours come after that with Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. It, even Ajax and what's another dude? The guy from the the, the Rogue Gang is in there in there too. I forgot what his fucking name was. But he, he was in there too. And this movie is legendary. Anyone talks talk shit about this movie is a fucking idiot. You want to see a PC nerd who doesn't understand real fucking cinema films. Real fucking raw shit. Like the Warriors. Cleo's Cle my fucking favorite character in the movie. He's my favorite fucking killer. He gets killed off because... I think because the actor, Dorsey Wright, he was like doing... He had to go do some other shit, I guess. Because he had to work on some other movie or something. And he didn't know this this film would be super popular in the future. He didn't know because it's way in the future. They like 2000s, I think, because when the the fucking game came out, which is also fucking kicks ass. That game's like a fucking brawl. You beat the shit out of everybody in that game, just like the movie. But it's, it's like it's like a prequel in the beginning. It's like a prequel before the the, the movie shit happens. I feel like there should be more more missions in the prequel in the prequel shit in the video game. It should be like more missions. I feel like it's kind of short, kind of the, the prequel missions. And uh, yeah, yeah, Clay gets cut off in the beginning of the film because you know why, what happens? Because like I said, he was busy doing another movie. If, like I said, if he didn't had, if he had been busy with another movie, he would, he would have been as longer. Because I, I said that all nine of them should, should have been still alive in the film. I heard. And there's like, I heard that uh, Vermin was to get killed off. He was the one of Liz, the Lizzie, supposed to fucking murder him with a gun or something. And plus, something else was happening to someone else, I think. And Fox was supposed to have been uh, dating uh, the fucking the black haired chick. I forgot what her name was. Was he dating her ass? Mercy? That was Mercy. Was he dating her ass? But it changed because him and the director got in a fucking fight. He told him to fuck off, and he said he, he killed him off by a train incident with a cop. So this is that happened. Like the actor died, Rembrandt, play, play, the guy who played Rembrandt died of AIDS in the 80s. Which is sad because, you know, Red River was cool. He, he did his shit in the movie. He like spray paints, fucking signs everywhere, those graffiti signs everywhere. And you can see the chick in the movie. You can see the chick right there, you know, in the picture. She, she, was, she was the latest scene. She wasn't really part of the movie. Because it didn't make sense because it's in the daytime and shit. It didn't make any sense. It wasn't, she wasn't like Cleon's uh, girlfriend or something. She like, she had this psychic memories or something. She saw before it happened. She gets killed or something. Which does happen. So they took her out. Which just makes sense because she wouldn't really fit. So I'm glad they did that. Honestly, that was the right thing they did, actually. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a good thing they did that. So yeah, AJ, AJ gets arrested because he's a fucking dumbass. He, he he wants some fucking pussy at the wrong goddamn time. He can't keep his dick in his pants. So this uh, cop chick arrests him, and the cop punches him in the eye. No, it hits him in the eye with a fucking nightstick. Which I remember him from, you know, from the, the Exterminator movie a year later. And, and I was like, you no, know, I saw the Warriors movie, movie before the Exterminator. I just saw Exterminator like this year. I watched that Exterminator movie. The Warriors, I, I, I know that movie for a long time. So well, one time I saw him in Exterminator, I was like, oh, that's the guy from the Warriors. He played that cop. Now, yeah, yeah, he's the bad guy. I think his name was Erwin Keys or something. I forgot his name was. And that, that dude was like Shrek, if you think about it. I'm not sure if he mean or anything. He kind of looks like Shrek. Oh, yeah. And don't forget about the Baseball Furious. Baseball Furious is one of the badass motherfuckers in the, in the fucking movie and the game. It was crazy. Besides the riffs, the riffs, are, the riffs don't fuck around. They fuck, fuck them one time and your ass is dead. That's what happened to the rogues. They got murdered. Luther's ass got fucked up. Doing that to Cyrus, smoking them at that fucking the rally.
I hope they never remake this movie or the Scarface. I hope they don't fuck with these. Oh yeah, I heard they're gonna remake Scarface. Fuck. I heard they're gonna choose Michael B. Jordan or some shit. What the fuck are they doing? Michael B. Jordan sucks. Don't choose Michael B. Jordan. Well, I don't say he sucks. He's okay. I'm not really crazy about him though. Why? 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 How, how can he be Scarface? Yeah, how can he be Tony Montana? He's corny. He can find a different black guy to beat him, or somebody is better. It's Michael B. Jordan. He already fucked up the uh, the the Rocky movies. Why well, have you make him fuck that up too? Scarface. Scarface is one of my number one favorite movies. I don't want him to destroy my fucking movie. You know, it's already been remade already. We don't need. I don't even need a second remake. We don't. Uh, hopefully, hopefully not the Warriors either. Leave the fucking Warriors alone. Make it, make it fucking PC. Liberal shit and make make it like two dudes kissing each other and shit. I'm like fuck all out of here with that shit, man. I I don't against gay people or anything, but I don't want to see that shit. Don't, don't ruin the Warriors. Don't fuck with it. It's this generation soft. Do the most softest shit ever. Unless it's losing the right hands, then. That's cool. If he's in the right hands, and then that's good. Don't get some guy that does romance movies, because you know I've been one of those movies. It it's had to hand someone that did romance films. If it fucked it up. Yeah, I heard like Cyrus or something. Like that. The guy plays Cyrus to try to sue the rock star for for using his voice in the video game. I'm like, how the fuck? Why the fuck would you sue them? You, you don't even own the character. Fucking Walter Hill owns the character and Paramount. What the fuck do you think you are, buddy? You know he died too, rest in peace to him. But I think that was stupid. Like, a lot of people enjoy the game, don't do shit like that. Try and sue because it writes his voice. Because before he like refused to do the voice of the character, so he sues his voice or something. He got all butthurt about it. Like, really? Come on, man. Like, knock that shit off. I wonder why Dorsey Wright, Michael Beck, and like the rest of the actors didn't get more movie roles. I mean, Michael Beck got some movie roles after the Warriors, but he didn't get to receive more after that. Same with Dorsey Wright, he didn't, didn't do any more after that either. I understand they, they're pretty good actors. Most of the scene, most of the, the most who received the most of movie roles was a um, guy that played Ajax. Uh, what was his name? It was James something? It was James something. I remembered. And he see he see like he's still doing a lot more movie roles right now. He was in that, that shitty uh, Mortal Kombat movie. He's in so much shit. He he's the most of all, of all, all nine of the cast of the fucking gang. Everyone else they, they don't do shit anymore. They don't do anything. I don't, I never see Michael Beck or Dorothy Wright or anyone, everyone else do anything else anymore. They just disappeared. Especially Cowboy. Then no one even see him anymore. He just he was gone. You know what they should do? They should like remake the fucking video game. Don't fuck with the movie. Just remake the video game. Just make it to a PS4 game and remaster it. Make it more HD looking and shit. Make it more high digital. Just don't just and, and like add more missions to the to the PS4 version. Add more missions to it. But I don't know. I don't think I trust the new Rockstar because I heard that one of the guys left. Uh, I forgot his name, like Dan Hauser or something. I heard left. And now, and then the other guy left, the radio guy, does gang, GTA, he fucking left too, so, I don't know, I don't know if they should do it or not, I thought they are going to fuck it up, because they're greedy with their GTA Online corny shit, and their Red Dead Online, everything's online shit now, so I think Sam Hauser's still there, I don't think he really gives a shit, but Dan Hauser mostly gives a shit about his stuff, he just, I think got bored, or he got in like disagreement with his brother or something. I don't want to happen. But they, they, they need to remake the video game. Make a PS4. Don't fuck with the movie. Leave it alone. Make some other fucking nerds ruin it. Alright, just don't fuck it up.